Peace family, it's your brother Koo. Another video, Sudan University. Uh, I realize I may have jumped the gun just a bit. Um, I'm very passionate about law, if you can't tell. I can't even speak the language of law to you guys if you don't even understand what the words mean. So this phase of um, the curriculum, and mind you, I'm creating as I go along. That's just how I like to do things. So this, this phase of the curriculum is going to be Well, before we even get into that, I just want to read over this part right here. This is a verse out of the Bible, um, Genesis 1. I may have said it word for word, but you get the principle gist. First was the Word. The Word was God. The Word was with God. First was the Word. What is the Word? Clearly, we can understand the Word can mean a multiple of things, not just in terms of words that I'm speaking. It could be anything like um, an action a vibration, a sound, a boom, or a bang, okay? That could be the word. We are literally the word in flesh. So this shit gets deep. Like, if you really take it into essence, what we really are, if you really want to define what we are, because it's been a long time where no one can define, like, we're undefinable. You can't define what we are. I can define what we are. I can define it pretty clear. We are the spoken word of God. Manifest. Bomb. All right. So this phase of our curriculum is called word building. Word building, all right? Because first was the word. So we need to attack motherfucking word all right and since we are the word it will be very easy for us to perceive what the word is once we have a look at the word and mind you when I say word think about this me myself here in this vessel currently right now is living proof that I am the spoken word of God no other man could have made me like this. And I'm not talking about my vessel, I'm talking about the spirit that operates this vessel. The spirit that operates this flesh is not man-made. So it's the one thing that we know for a fact cannot be built or created or rewritten by man. The flesh, okay? And the spirit that operates within. So, everything outside of that, everything outside of self, can be manipulated, can be turned, can be made a different version, but this does not change. It's constant. No matter what, my words will never change. And when that verse said that, my words will never change. My words, who are, who, okay. If it says my words will never change, and my would be God saying that, right? God saying my words will never change. What the hell is God's words? We are the words of God. We are the words of God. We are the spoken word. I like that shit. We are the motherfucking spoken word. All right, so we're gonna get into this breakdown. Let me see now. Okay. So, beginning with words. Let's, let's, let's start breaking down words. Let's start breaking down words. First word I'm gonna start with is nationality. I don't know how many of you are familiar with the term nationality. Maybe this is the first time you've heard nationality. I, if it has, I'm glad I can be the first one to bring that name into your consciousness. Nationality. When you think about nationality, right? You think about people from different places on the planet that we call today Earth. Okay? And Earth is not the name of the planet we're on. It's the name of the planetary position of the planet we're on. Okay? So this planet's name is not Earth. Earth is the position 
of this planet. Deep. So, nationality. People of all different types of nationality live on this planet, all right? And if you haven't seen my previous video, contract law. Please check that out because I go into um, words, the, the preliminary meaning of words like black, color, human beings, nationalities. So only human beings, there's only one race on the planet, okay? That race is called human. Humans with the blank I, okay? Hue, hue. What is hue? Hue. Let's go. See, I gotta get this, man. I gotta get this. We look at the regular term, human, right? What we are is human, okay? The man with a hue. What is a hue? A hue would be like a dark complexion, kind of like melanin, kind of like dirt, kind of like, uh, you know, the, 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 the blacker the berry, the sweeter the juice. Hue, that berry has a hue, all right? It has melanin. That's what's considered a hue man. Hue man. Think about this now. The sun, okay? The sun is the giver of life, which would mean that the sun is feminine, not, not masculine. I'll come back with another video on that one. The sun is feminine, not masculine. So, that being said, since the sun is the giver of life, okay? That means that the only natural beings of this planet would have to be of the sun itself. Because the sun is what gives this planet, uh, all living, all living uh, entities on this planet, energy. Meaning if you can't take the sun, then you are not of this particular planet. You're not of this paradigm or this dimension. You weren't built for it because this dimension is built for sun beings, okay? Melanin, love your melanin. Don't take that shit for granted, man. It's a gift, a wonderful gift from the creator, all right? Don't, 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 don't take your melanin for granted because every other race on the planet will and has killed for our, melanin, for our melanin and are still killing for our melanin. Where do you think they get this shit for genetic research from? Genetic research, DNA research, um, blood research, human analogy. The only way to understand human analogy would be to get the prime species. What would be the prime species? In the English language, it would be termed the black man. Okay, so the black man is the cream of the crop. And understand, when I say man, I mean woman, because woman is number one. All men here come from women, point blank, period. I don't wanna hear no more shit about it. There are no male eggs in the universe. No masculine eggs. There are none. All eggs are feminine. That conversation is done, period. The woman is the X, we the Y. Why are we Y? Because we're missing a leg. So how could I possibly get an X from a Y that's missing a leg? Or would it make more sense for me to get a Y from a whole X? Think about that. So, the black man, they need our genes, they need our genetics in order to do research. Whatever research they do have, you would. how would you be able to get a full spectrum of information, accurate information if you're doing research on a second class subject. You'd have to go for the cream of the crop to get the best results, the real results, the truthful results. All right? So, the black woman, let me just get rid of this right here. The black woman, okay? All right? black woman, <laughs> the bringer of life, the giver of life, okay? So, and like I said, that'll be another video.